What's up everybody and welcome to another episode of the Oak and Smoke Whiskey Reviews. My name is Brent. If you are a subscriber, I want to thank you so much for your support. And if you're not a subscriber and you're into whiskey and whiskey type related stuff, please consider hitting that subscribe button with the notification bell. That way you'll be notified of new uploads and live streams. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Glenfiddich 14 year bourbon barrel reserve single malt scotch whiskey. The Glenfiddich Bourbon Barrel Reserve is a 14 year old release exclusively for the US market. This single malt scotch whiskey is aged 14 years in ex bourbon American oak cask and then finished in charred new American oak barrels that are supplied by Kelvin Cooperage in Louisville, Kentucky. The Glenfiddich 14 year bourbon cask reserve is a space side single malt scotch whiskey with a 14 year age statement. It is distilled in pot stills from 100% malted barley, it's a 43% ABV. 86 proof with an MSRP of around $50. Let's check out the bottle for a second. All right, the bottling on this one, guys, is your typical Glenfiddich bottling, except they've changed up the labeling. It is blue, and that is giving homage to Kentucky, the birthplace of bourbon. They actually, the cylinder also right here is blue. Pretty much your typical Glenfiddich bottling in the cylinder. They just changed up the color, and of course, it has the 14 year age statement on it. Now this is a not a limited release. It will be on the shelves regularly in, uh, in America, but it is released only in the US. But they are gonna keep it on the shelves in the US. It's gonna become part of the US core lineup. Now as far as the bottling goes, it is the once again the typical Glenfiddich bottling. The cork is synthetic. It has a synthetic cork, a plastic top on the bottle. And it has that classic signature Glenfiddich shape to the bottle, the triangle shape, which fits the hand nicely. Right down here, you have the 14 year age statement. Pretty cool bottling and package. I love what Glenfiddich is doing with their packaging. Pretty cool stuff. With that being said, let's get into the color, nose, and taste of this whiskey. Let's check out the color. The color on this one, guys, is a nice golden, amber color got a nice color to it i'd say a lot of that due in part if you was to put this side by side with the 12 year glenfiddich it would it's definitely a lot darker and i don't think the two years would add that much color to the whiskey so you can definitely see the influence of the new charred oak barrels american oak barrels that, that they finished this in got a nice color to it i am going to coat the sides of the glass just to see how oily and viscous the whiskey is and as you can see it's definitely got a nice viscosity to it nice oily whiskey it's coating the glass very nicely not super thick slow running legs but the legs are it's got nice legs it coated the glass nicely nice viscosity on the whiskey nice color that being said let's get into the nose Right away on the nose, I'm getting a fruity aspect. It is very approachable, but not light. It is rich and creamy. It's a creamy sense to it. Definitely getting some like freshly cut pears and apples. A hint of citrus, like an orange peel. Definitely vanillas and like burnt sugars also. And it does have a very nice charred oaky or toasted oak note on the nose. Definitely the finishing when they finished in the new American charred oak barrels is definitely coming through on the nose, but it's not coming through heavily or overbalanced. The fruity aspect and the burnt sugars and the oak note, it's very well balanced and very approachable, but not light. It's, it's a very nice and vibrant nose. Yeah, the fruity aspects like freshly cut pears and apples. A little bit of vanilla, maybe a little caramel in there also. A hint of citrus, like an orange peel, and some burnt sugars, and that nice, like toasted charred oak note. Very nice and approachable nose. Very, it's not super complex, but interesting 
Once again on the nose, you're getting like freshly cut fruits, apples, and pears. You're also getting a hint of citrus, like an orange peel, and there's a little bit of caramel and burnt sugars and a nice like toasted oak note on the nose. Let's get into the taste. Cheers. Nice silky, velvety mouthfeel. Finish is kind of still going. Definitely middle of the row to long. And I did get a little hint of vanilla and citrus on the first sip, but it's finishing off in like a nice barrel spice charred oak note on the first sip. Very nice first sip, nice silky, and creamy mouthfeel. Not super viscous, but has a very nice mouthfeel. Let's go for another sip, guys. Cheers. Front of the palate, you are picking up a little bit of that fruity apple or pear note that we got on the nose. Mid palate, it's picking up with citrus zest and vanilla, leaning off into a nice, like burnt sugars, barrel spice, peppery, charred oak note on the finish. Very nice first sip. It did maintain that silky and creamy mouthfeel. Very nice second sip. Let's go in for a third. Cheers. Front of the palate, definitely apples and pears. You are picking up a little bit of a hint of vanilla, but it's almost overtooken by the citrus zest and barrel spice mid palate. On the finish, you are getting some sweetness that, that vanilla and burnt sugars are popping back up, but it's finishing off in that nice toasted oak or charred oak note. It's a little bit of vanilla wrapped in there. Very nice third sip. It has, it has maintained that velvety, creamy mouthfeel. And I would say the finish is still lingering a little bit. It's definitely leaning towards the long side of things on the finish. Not a super complex sip, but definitely a very approachable and nice pour. Let's get into my final thoughts. My final thoughts on the Glenfiddich 14 year bourbon barrel reserve. Guys, I really enjoy this pour. It's got a 14 year age statement. 86 proof, 43% ABV, and if you are a bourbon drinker that is interested in getting into single malt scotch whiskey, I think this will be an outstanding introductory to single malt scotch whiskey for a bourbon drinker. With that being said, I'm going to wrap this up. I thank you so much for watching. If you are a subscriber, once again, I want to thank you for your support. And if you're not a subscriber, hey, subscribe. Until next time, guys. Cheers.